We'll see. I'm sure Bulldog's watching, just to make sure. But five seconds remaining. Right. Next few bands to come on out. Got to be worried about that. Not worried, but got to ponder what they want to go for in terms of their roster from both sides. PL gets Radiant get taken away from the secret man. side. And PL's been kind of a little bit on the up and up. He's a bit of a bit of a sleeper pick for now. It's also just, I mean, PL is just annoying in general. Illusions is not really something you want to fight up against when you're a troll warlord. Um, I guess it's okay if you have a Queen of Pain, but in general, it's just really annoying to play against. And I think Team Secret, you know, um, they just want to make sure that this troll is going to have a smooth time. Alright, they ban away Lena, taking away another strong mid that could possibly come out for Secret or Support, either way. Uh... I mean, these drafts are still so flexible. Still got to see what they want. Banning away, you know, maybe another jungler, the axe, possibly to come out Ten from the secret side. Remaining. Or, hmm. I want to say that the lion might be remaining. taken away by scary faces because Kuroki can play lion. Uh, Rubik as well, still a pretty big pick here. Reserve time. Rubik can steal the night time. I mean, that would benefit the night soccer, but, you know, he can still steal it. <laughs> But at the same time, I think if you're Team Secret, I think you also want to take out something like a Lion, just because Lion is really good against the Queen of Pain and against the Troll. So they do take away the Beastmaster, which also has some hard lockdown against either of those heroes. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think in the just generally, you don't really want to give away too easy disables. Um, they already have good silence from the Night Stalker, so Ten making sure that remaining. Queen of Pain can blink away, but. Um, you can sort of play around that Five because you kind of see the Night Stalker coming anyway. He has to run in. The range isn't the longest, I guess, and he doesn't he doesn't go for Reserve blink or anything time. like that. But a lion, for example, blink in and the hex. It's not something you can sort of like see coming or something you can easily escape from. Yeah, it's just pretty much instant. And uh, I believe, oh man, I forgot who was playing it yesterday. But uh, either way, with Yules too, like with the mass Yules that come out from a lot of these teams, like. Lion just Steam does so well pick. with that. Brubother gets banned away, and do we see scary faces try to try to get Axe Dazzle? Like, do do Secret try to get Axe Dazzle? Uh, they're both still on the board, both still very potent, and scary faces. I want to know what their mid's gonna be to go up against the Queen of Pain too, or the Troll, either one, really. Hmm. I think scary faces could go with an Axe. I guess um, would make for a very aggressive lineup. I think. Um. What I don't really like about it is that you have like two melee, melee heroes remaining. that are very tanky, but you know, they it's I think Night Sock and Axe have a Reserve weird interaction time. with one another just because they I don't really think they synergize too well. Sure, you have the blink initiation from yeah, yeah. Axe that you can follow up with on the Night Stalker, but at the same time, Disruptor. it feels really iffy. Uh -huh. And yeah, something like Disruptor makes Diety. more sense. Um, the silence is pretty good, the glimpse is really, really good as well, and it just adds to this whole. Well, you know what? We're just going to chase you down, sort of like mentality with the Night Stalker, with the Zeus ult, and also Disruptor having the glimpse. So it's a good pickup. Yeah, it makes it very hard for people to get away, it forces BKBs, and I mean, he can even pick up his own Agnums and stop item use, which would be fun. So, yeah, that's... and the kinetic feel is also Ten pretty good against remaining. the troll to kite him around. Mm -hmm. Like, the troll is one of these heroes. Well, sometimes Five you see a blink on him, remaining. but in general. Before he gets his BKB, you can kite him around pretty easily, almost. And with Reserve the kinetic field, time. it's so much easier, even so. Uh, it's a good pickup against these two heroes in particular, and I'd argue against any hero that Team Secret is going to pick up. Like, Disruptor is just a very well rounded hero in general. Hmm. Okay, so Secret, support wise, what do you want? Earthshaker still there. Lion, there it is. And uh, Kuroki will more than likely take that. Pick. But the Lion, like I said, you got a lot of burst here already. They could have paired it with the Lena too and gone for like double zaps, but the Sonic Wave is just as good. And just instant hexes, man. Make make your life so easy. The only thing is the line's still pretty squished. You're pretty susceptible to being glimpsed back and killed off first. So his positioning's gonna have to be pretty key. And uh Scary Face's next pick. Still need some strong Ten damage to come out. Remaining. Juggernaut's still there on the table. Uh mm -hmm. PL was banned. Five hmm. seconds remaining. I don't think they're gonna go for like a draw lineup or anything like that. They do have the color scheme for it with everybody being blue, but... <laughs> Reserve time. Uh, draw is really squishy as well. Like, against the Queen of Pain and Lion, you don't really want to pick a draw into that. Sure, you have a silence to deal with that, sort of, I guess, but if you just get jumped on, you die instantly, almost, so... Um, I don't really see the draw being picked up. Enigma. Enigma. Okay. So Keep this is going to be Core Nightstalker, I guess. 
Uh, I could see Offlane Enigma coming out here, if anything. But yeah, I guess that's possible as well. But I don't know. I guess it's gonna be Core Night Soccer because I think Enigma is strong enough in the jungle. I think it would be not a waste, but I think running Enigma offlane and having a Night Stalker as support is sort of like wacky. So I, I'd and much rather see the Enigma in. on the jungle and then you know oh. running a Core Night Stalker. The puppy tree ant gonna Man. come out. Here comes the eggs. I'm ready. Well, what do you do when you fight against somebody who takes away your vision? You get more vision. Yep, exactly. Try to get as much vision as possible. Doesn't matter how dark it is outside, those eyes of the forest will persi persist. And uh, Ten seconds Not much uh, tree clearing coming out from Scary Face's side. No one would ever suspect a tree ant pick to come Five out. Five seconds remaining. Oh, okay, and uh, need to see what the last core is going to be from Secret. They're off laner. Uh, and Scary Faces, their draft's still pretty versatile. Can they keep the color scheme going, though? Who's who's left that's a blue carry? Mm. Oh, that's a good question. Drow, Venge. <laughs> I doubt you would go for a carry Venge, but... Uh, just to fit the color scheme? Yeah, just to fit the color scheme. That's all we're looking for. We're going... Dire team ban. Going full decoration mode. But Mag gets taken away. Seeker could have looked for that, too. Uh, Empower would have been pretty deadly with the troll lineup. Secret could have gone for a red lineup. They could have. They were with the tree. Could, yeah. yeah. God damn it, secret. <laughs> is the troll just kind of red because he's just furious all the time, or is his just skin like burnt? I don't know what's going remaining. on. Did he not use suntan lotion? I think he's just very furious all the time. He's very mad all the time. He, he looks really mad. That's not good for his skin, man. All right. Uh, I mean, you're he's a warlord, so you kind of have to be mad all the time, right? <laughs> you can't really be soft, uh, like a soft warlord. A soft warlord? Yeah, you can just live. I'm not going to conquer you this time. Yeah, just go. Yeah. <laughs> just leave your money and your women here. But, uh... <laughs> Last ban. What does Seeker want to take away? I think you want to take away a carry. Um, I, I doubt they're going to run a one position Night Stalker. It's pretty weak, actually. Um, so probably something that has a bit of late game as well. Because Scary Faces, they already have good mid game. And if they commit fully to the mid game, I think that sort of, yeah. Oh, so they take so. out the hardcore with them and do so. Still could see Naga, still could see Terrorblade, still could see AM. AM would fit the color scheme a little bit. He's not he's not that blue, but he's kind of like a, a darker blue, I think. Hmm. All right. Uh... I think Terrorblade could work out. Yeah. Um, he's quite tanky. He pushes well. Can split push with him. And overall the illusions are difficult to deal with if you're a troll slark. but they go for the slark There's the there blue. it is they keep Dying yeah they keep this co co color scheme yeah so not bad uh keep our our dreams alive with the full blue team while secret destroyed it by picking up the tree and looking for the red it would have been red versus blue uh not the halo series though but all right secret's last pick what are they going for in off lane for zai um there's they like lost clockwork. the enigma too which kind of sucks but I still want to see Centaur. I think Centaur trolls is like remaining. stupidly strong together. But uh, Clockwork Five 2 still on the deck. Uh, it's like Centaur in general is not bad, but I think against the Disruptor it's pretty bad. Like if you run in or blink in, you can just get glitched out. Oh, Shadow Fiend. Forgot about that. Hmm. Did not see that one coming. So it's going to be Shadow Fiend Zai? But how do they run it? Mm -hmm. This is going to be an aggressive try maybe or a dual lane? 2 1 2 ish with the Treant kind of supporting up top. S4 is actually on the Shadow Fiend, so that means it's going to be okay, so, Zai yeah. Queen of Pain instead. Okay. I guess Queen of Pain offlane makes more sense, but um, at the same time, I think they could have gotten away with putting the Troll and the Treant on the offlane, or even the Lion with the Troll. I think they could have gotten away with that. But it looks like they just want to go for a bit of a more conventional lane setup with a safe lane, try lane, and just one off laner. Yep. So here we go. It's going to be game one between SFZ and Secret. I'm Ega, joining me here is Skim, and this is Starlighter Season 12. And Secret could be out of it yeah, if they lose on. this game. Uh, they are currently 0 1. They lost to Alliance in their first Starlighter match. And let's get this game underway. SFZ, we got Eknart. We got uh, Eknart on the Enigma. We got a uh, Shadow A on the Disruptor, gonna support it up. Quista is gonna be playing his Slark up in mid on the Zeus. He's gonna be State 21, and then Ramses, Ramses is gonna be playing the uh, Night Stalker. Sorry if I butchered their names. I haven't seen these players before. 
Well, on the dire side, we have Tinky Winky, aka RTZ, on the Troll Warlord. Uh, S4, as you said, is going to be up on that Shadow Fiend. Kuroki supporting on the line. Poppy on the Treant, and we have Zai on the Queen of Pain. And it looks like they are going aggressive with this. So it's going to be most likely going to be Zai on the safe lane, and I guess an aggressive try from Secret. At least a dual lane, probably. I believe Poppy can just rotate. I don't really think they need his presence on the lane. That'll be rough. I don't know. The, the aggressive try, like, can favor the Shadow Feed pretty aggressive, uh, pretty much throughout that entire time. And especially against the Slark, too, if you can shut him down a little bit earlier on. Uh, slow it on that farm. Keep him behind. We'll see. Looks like the runes will be split. No, no early level ones. With State 21 taking a little bit of poke, but that's about it. So both body runes to <clears throat> what seems to be both mid laners. For a second, I thought that SFZ got both runes. Like because I saw the Shadowfiend color, I thought it was Slark actually. And for a second there, I thought, oh my god, SFZ is gonna win this game. That's why there's circles and X's on the uh, minimap. <laughs> looks like they're gonna rotate the lanes because they see the aggressive trading coming out. So looks like the Slark is rotating top, and the Night Sucker is gonna be on the bottom lane. I, I, I like it, because Night Stalker at the same time, like, you can just get losses with the Void. And you can just soak up XP. You don't need to farm as much as the Slark does it. Oh, Puppies. Can oh, run puppy. straight by Ramses and... Uh... He has not skilled anything yet. He could still technically use Leech Seed. I don't think he wants to do Leech Seed, though. Last time I think he played this, he just went straight for... Uh, just, just going straight Tree Armor. That's it. Did the Living Armor. Sat back, didn't level stats or anything, just mass points to the tree arm. While in the meantime, Zai up top, he's in danger of dying here. Taking a lot of damage, has Blink available. Ooh. Gets away just barely. Aw, oh, Puppy and Kuroki, they're staring at this Enigma. Guys, let's take him down. Can they kill It's him actually now? difficult because he has a lot of Eidolons. I think they're waiting for the Eidolons to expire. Mm -hmm. They're gonna guise up. Oh, he took one point into guise early. Wow. What a player. And oh, he's Can in I a trap end him? cart. Oh, he doesn't go up. What? Ooh, he's playing with his life. He's like, do I go here? Do I know? Oh, they're both guys up now. Do they get this kill? Kuroki, he has the spikes. He's going to go in. The right click's coming out from Puppy, doing quite a bunch, but it's just going to slow down his jungle pattern. That's it. And force him, force him out for quite a while. Interesting decision to go for the guys instead of, like, the least or something. Um... I mean, they didn't get the kill, but they did get worn down, so this is, I think, blocking both camps, actually. Unfortunately, he didn't get it in time, so the one hand did spawn still. So. Looking at the mid lane, this war is, you know, expectedly doing well. Seems that you might have a little bit of lag happening to yourself, but uh, you were looking at mid for just a bit. As for, he's got his bottle, he's gonna get the rune up top, that's a DD. And State 21's kind of forced to just bottle crow, and they're still harassing this Enigma right now. So Puppy's stealing XP, he's just sitting down there looking for last hits too, and eventually they're gonna have to do something about this, but for now they have to kind of just ignore it, and Encart has to just go along on his merry way. Yeah, they're putting a lot of emphasis on the slot right now. Like, having a dual lane up here, just making sure that the slot completely out from Queen of Pain, and looks like they're willing to give up like the bottom lane and the jungle for this, which don't necessarily agree with, but depending on what Slark does in the game, it may pay off. Um, all they would love to just see Eknar just rotating into the dire jungle. To be honest. But at the same time, I guess Puppy could also go into his own jungle and harass him there. Up, oh, I swore, the very kill. aggressive. Oh, yeah. State 21's forced back. The guys actually fades, and State 21's like, uh oh, there's a tree lurking around behind me. But uh, Look at this. Puppy just re guises. Looking for the courier, but it's flying this time. Can he actually kill us off? Gonna try to get one hit. He does. Brings down the half. But it had the ring of health. It heals up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not gonna risk it. He'll just bottle crow again. If this courier actually dies, mm, puppy holding his position. Courier's being so slow right now. Puppy, is he gonna get it? Oh the God. guys. Wow. That's the bottle loss for the Zeus mid. I mean, this is. An amateur mistake, honestly. Like, they saw him punch Courier, right? Yeah. Like, they had to know. Like, There's health missing from this Courier like, randomly. He's not gonna try to get this again, right? Shiller can just sit over this exact same path. I don't know. A bit of a mistake here, and it cost him a lot just because day one. I mean, that's day 21. I mean, he did fairly well with the bottle, but without the bottle, it's gonna be difficult. He even has a 
Bullry recipe sitting in his base that he can send on the film. Oh, that sucks. And S4, maybe looking for a dive here? I don't know what's happening. They're jumping on top and they actually find the kill onto Zai and take him down and the Queen of Pain. While well, in the meantime, S4 is just diving and just triple. Oh, he misses the raise. He actually gets mini stun because of the Thunderbolt and gets the double raise off. So S4 picks up a solo kill. And uh, that's, that is not good for the Zeus. Well, there was some good rotation. They baited out with the troll illusions, making sure that State 21 sort of like had to run back and straight into S4's arms. Top lane, they're going again on Zai. They have a glimpse. And oh. yeah, he gets put back. He's just dead. Jeez. Oh, so dead. So dead. <laughs> All right. Quista, man. Off to a great start here with the help of the Disruptor, man. Shutting down the Queen of Pain, getting him a huge lead, and. Does he just go Midas off this? Yeah, he should. Like, he's having such a good time. Like, oh, he's you're farming well. Yes. He's... Yes. <laughs> you're good. You're back. But yeah, he should go for the Midas. Um, he's so far ahead in terms of farm, and he, like, he got two kills, so. Or one and a half, I guess. But he goes for bottle first, so I guess he's not going for the Midas. Huh. That's kind of uh, reminiscent of, uh. Oh, jeez. Van from Not Today, who does the bottle immediately, as soon as he can get it, on the Slark. I mean, I like it, but I think in this position you kind of want to go a bit greedier, just because you can afford to. And, ooh, is I going to go for a revenge kill here, finally? He should be able to get it, it seems. And will he trade his life, though, is the question. The right-click still come out. Oh, and Quista does die. No, not Quista. Quista actually picks up the kill on a shadowy, but it takes actually the Zeus ultimate to pick up the kill. Wait, what the yeah, hell just he, happened? He, he denied the he denied the disruptor. Oh, he did. Oh. Uh, yeah, was so smart. Like he he waited and then just denied him and still went for the kill, sort of. Oh, well played. I didn't realize it was a deny. I was like, wait a minute, how did Shadowy just die? But yeah, yeah well played. So yeah, I did I did say in the early game like they put a lot of emphasis on the Slark and he has to pay it back and yeah he certainly is paying it back, making a lot of space here, and. He did force out the puppy rotation, so giving Ignard a lot of time in this jungle. Or, not a lot of time, but at least a bit of time. Mm. S4 rotating into the jungle, making most, making the most out of it, and giving S uh, Zai a bit of time here in the mid lane. Desperately needs it as well. Desperately needs it indeed. Alright. So, I mean, at this point, like, Ramsey's too, he's been holding his own in this offlane, trying to get the levels. He's close to 6, and he hasn't died yet, which is the best thing, so... Doing a little bit better than Zai at this point, and it is nighttime, so we could see him look to rotate around. Zai, yeah, he has had a rough time, but I mean, at the same time, Queen of Pain is one of these heroes. I think if he just picks up like an Agadems or something, he's still going to be very effective with those team fights. Can just burst down a lot of heroes. Top lane, TP's coming in. Oh, they glimpsed S4 all the way back to where he TP'd. And in the meantime, Quista getting caught out here. They get the spikes at the end, but he finds himself the Shadow Dance. S4, though, picks up the kill on Shadowy, who kind of chased a bit far. That was weird, but uh, Quista at least makes it out. And he tried to run away. Shadowy, he tried to run away, and he didn't want to run past the towers. He tried to, you know, be a bit cheeky. He, he didn't have any vision on where the SF was. And unfortunately, like, the glimpse, I think... I think S4 TP'd from his own jungle and was kind of glimpsed back into the jungle. Oh, Quista Again? finds S4. Nah, he can't risk it. Nah. No way. Especially with the tree armor too, but uh, we did have the troll and Tinky Wiki dying down bot to the Night Stalker and the Zeus gank. So that's our TZ. Just going down. And up mid too. Look at Zai can't even blink away again. They're going to be able to get a third kill on him possibly it seems. Yeah, he can't even get the Sonic Wave to respond. Oh man, that's not good. Didn't even need to use the Zeus ult. No. That's his oh, bottom death. lane, RTZ. Oh, they came with the yeah, black hole on top. On He's dead. Oops. There you go. Just kills scare all over the place. What the hell? Yeah, scare face is playing this so well right now. They're just getting pick off after pick off and. Playing this really well. I don't agree with Quista's item build though. Like, I think he's going back for drums after the bottle. I think this is too much, you know. Sort of like mid game items. I think he could have just gone greedy with the Midas and then immediately transitioned to like a Scotty or something. Uh, eh. I don't know. It's, it's always preference when it comes down to some of these players. 
But uh, I mean, right now SFZ having a pretty pretty good time in terms of kills with the last hits. You know, on top of the troll, and no surprise, the uh, S4 Shadow Fiend. We'll, we'll see what happens. As as for now, you know, looking at net worth, on top is the Shadow Fiend. Right behind him is the Slark. And they're looking for a dive. They're going for it. Kuroki, they're going to lose him back, put him in the field, and drop Static Storm on top. So not giving him any chance to survive. Shadow A picks up the kill. Like, these two heroes, they have made so much space already. Disruptor and Slark, they synergize so well together and... Probably gonna trade this tower? Ah, oh, they're probably not gonna get it. Yeah, TP coming from the troll. And Darcheezy just going straight for the Helm of the Dominator, I guess. S4 building towards that mech. I, actually, I think it's flying in. Yeah, it's coming in. Mech is finished. Yeah, so S4 having the mech too means that they can start fighting a little bit as a team. And uh, we'll see if they put that to use. Seeing as they heard, kind of grouping Zai. up. Oh man, Zai again? He's 0 and yeah. 5. Oh. He got bursted down in mid lane, and then I think he underestimated the damage output from the Zeus. That's gotta be really frustrating right now to him. Oh, jeez. But at the same time, Secret, you know, just because they have the mech right now, I think they can just take this tier 1 top. That's so, well, more be in, but... No black hole, though, they should know this. Yeah, and with the catapult, I think they can just go for it. Yeah, and Battle Trance. We do see SF S4 actually uh, kind of just zoning away a little bit, clearing out the Eidolons, and that should be the first tower of the game going to the secret oh. side. Wait, hold on. Mass TP's coming in to help out. Tinky Winky trying to do what he can. Gets the last hit. Sonic Wave comes through. Zai getting some revenge. They're working with Souls as well on top. Getting himself a double, looking for Zai to get this last right click on an end card. He can get it. He can't juke around. State 21 in the trees. He's going to fall here. Mech pops, raises out. Zai gets a triple kill. Supporting up his team, and uh, that's a good way to come back from 0-5, getting just an easy trip. Well, I did say it before, like, even though Zai didn't get, you know, didn't get any farm whatsoever, just just his burst potential from his ult and um, the Scream of Pain, like, he just bursted down the Disruptor, I believe, immediately, and the Enigma as well, so... This is gonna be tough now. Scary faces, even though they build themselves an early advantage, this this one oh, fight. Oh, he glimpsed back the tree. Puppy, he pops the overgrowth, but he's dead. No way he gets out of this. Yep. And then Cart gets the last hit. But yeah, just this one fight, I believe. Um, Paul, you know, made it so that Secret have a bit of an edge here. Look at the net worth graph. I mean, it's just 3,000, but still. And suddenly Zai is halfway to his Yule Scepter. Oh boy, that is such a recovery. Just a simple triple kill is all I needed. It's all it took. The oh, Ramsey's. Uh, Ramsey's stuck in the pit. He's gonna slow up S4 a little bit. We got Tinky Winky coming through, but the static field coming out with that kinetic is gonna stop him for a little bit. But Kuroki, he's getting bursted out. He should be dead here. They zapped out Arteezy. Kuroki in the mech, but the black hole's back up. SF gonna get sucked into the middle of that one. He's still silenced, he's still trying to turn, and he tries to pick up Shadow Way, can't do it with the raises. He pops out with the mech, keeping him alive, and Ramsey got himself a double kill out of that after chasing down a very elusive little man. So one for three this time in the favor of SFZ. What is happening in these games? It's just all over the place, just bloodbaths. Yeah, just kill after kill after kill. It's just, this is very entertaining Dota, just, you know, Kill here, kill there, and it's mainly due to the lineups as well. They're playing like the picking very aggressive mid game lineups here. Like, look at the Slark going oh, for getting the puppy. Wait, Overgrowth comes Is out. He he doesn't have any vision puppy as well, so yeah, he's not uh, keeping any dust on himself at this point, so it makes it very tough to kill the tree off. And is Puppy just going straight eggs? No, he's got himself a Sage's mask, hmm. maybe his own Yules. Who knows. Probably, yeah. Uh, I'd say that seems very likely. They kind of need a bit more disable, like, especially for like the um, the black hole. Like they don't really have a reliable reliable way to cancel black hole unless Lion is in a good position. And I guess I guess the overgrowth as well, but still, Yolt's just better range for that. And they're smoked up. They're going up towards top here. And since it's nighttime, Salt is gonna come out of the eye. And oh wait, he blinked in time, but he gets slips back. Oh, all the way back to his tower though. Zai, can they get this kill? They slow him down, they nuke him up, and right clicks away, but he gets the shadow, uh, Sonic Wave off on the Shadow Wave, but he just runs away. 
mounted up, ready to go. We'll be back in, he says. And with this kill, they're looking to transition it into a push, but they don't have their Enigma with them, which is very unfortunate. Um, and looks like, yeah, secret, they're, they're like, hey, if you take the tier one top, we're just going to take Roche. And I'm not even sure if Scary Faces realize this, and it's a good trade for secret, honestly. Like, they can't defend the tier one anyway, so might as well just go Roche. It's an easy Roshan trade for the tier one up top. And that Aegis is going to give secret quite a bit of room to farm up, I'm sure. The SMZ side doesn't want to fight against the Aegis, and they reveal it with the Thunder God's Wrath. And there you go. Nothing they can do to stop it at this point. And Arteezy will snag that one up. Because uh, going straight for a BKB, it seems, um, after his drums. Completely different item build from what we've seen in from Illidan, for example. Ramses, he wants this kill. Can he get it, puppy? Uh, gets to the trees, he'll be able to guise himself. Oh, but glimpsed, hold on. Wait a minute, slowed. Pops the overgrowth. No, he gets silenced up in time and mini stun. Oh no. Puppy just solo picked off. SFZ really utilizing this disruptor so damn well. Bit of an overkill though to use the kinetic field and the storm, um, the static storm as well. I believe just because they use that, they can't take this tower anymore. Because it's a big part of their team fight. They kind of need this to shut down both the SF and the troll. So, yeah, they're backing off, farming in the enemy jungle. And. Very unfortunate because you kind of want to take that tower if you can. Mid lane tower, like the mid tier one, is really important for map control. All right. I mean, SFZ, like this is a big surprise to me. Like taking the top of the kills, that's that's pretty hard to do against a team like Secret and really bullying Zion the early game, kind of weighing them out from there. But hold on, Puppy. Oh, does he get scouted? He does. He drops the leech seed. They ping him out, but they can't get the kill. <laughs> I'm not actually sure if they saw him, but I, I think. Oh, he they found Ramses. Oh, Boom. So dead. But yeah, I'm not even sure that they saw him because they didn't react to him at all until he used the leech seed. I think he just thought that they saw him, so. Kind of weird, but, you know, gets away anyway. Uh, Yield Scepter is done on Queen of Pain. Blink is up on Zeus. A lot of mobility coming out from both sides. Wouldn't be surprised to see a Blink from the SF as well after his BKB. They're going to look to jump on Puppy once again. They have the vision to reveal this with the Thunderbolt. They're going to go forward, zapping him down, looking for the pounce. It doesn't connect, and the Overgrowth comes in defensively again from Puppy, and they're just zapping away. Look at the damage come out. They popped the drums, too. That Dark Pact is enough to pick up the kill. Hmm. Puppy, man, he's playing so aggressive, even knowing that the SFZ members are kind of lurking around. I mean, you say aggressive, but at the same time, he's like very close to tier 2, right? So, I said um, SF SFZ is aggressive, not, oh, SFZ. not, oh, okay. not Puppy, he's playing defensive okay. as possible. <laughs> but yeah, SFZ, um, well, I like this aggression though, because, you know, it pays off. Oh, the glimpse. Nice. Kuroki, goodbye. Back so down annoying. you go. But at the same time, he was just, he wasn't very far away, so that's okay. So they keep using the living armor too to heal the towers, which is really preventing the pushes from SFZ. Helps out a ton, they're smoked up, ready to fight. Does Kuroki have Blink? No, he's getting close though. He's about 800 gold away. So, let's see. SF. S4. Taking the uh, high ground. Gonna find an Ivis rune too. Hmm. Aw, oh, this, could, this could be huge. But they also smoked up. Oh, Agnard. Queen of Pain wants to jump him. Does she have her Yules? She does. Can set up for Requiem of Souls. You know, a little bit of a zappage coming out from State 21. He slows him down. Blinking forward. BKB comes out from S4. Gonna see a glimpse back onto Tinky Winky as he gets sent backwards, but Zai goes in, gets silent stuff. He's gonna try to get out of this right now. He's got enough health, he's gonna get Yules to delay, and can he blink? He can. Zai living by the skin of his teeth while everybody else trying to back out and take up this kill onto Slark, which is a huge kill at that. So Secret find two for none and looking for some more. Look at how aggressive Zai's being now. He's feeling all confident now that he's got five kills. So, uh, yeah, well played. Secret finding these initial kills and. Taking an easy trade for themselves, and now a tier one tower too. Pretty good timing as well. Like right after it became uh, daylight, they fought. So, well, not right after. It was, but pretty close. Um, but yeah, Secret playing this one really well. You can just see that Secret has a lot more experience than Scary Faces, honestly, just because how they position themselves in those fights and how they kind of chase down the enemies. Uh, and Scary Faces, I think they got just got caught off a bit, and the Slark especially, like, I think they weren't really communicating as well, just 
because the Slark, it seemed like the Slark was trying to fight, whereas the rest of the team was just honestly trying to run away. So S4, let's see, Dark Time, Nightness, <laughs> Nightness, Darkness, and Night Time, same word, I don't know why I combined them four, but S4 did lose his nature's guys, and uh, never mind. he wanted to aggress forward, but too risky, too risky, don't want to do that. They have a huge stack here at the uh, hard camp too, which S4 is more than happy to take up. Got a four-man smoke, actually a five-man smoke coming in from the SFZ side, and this could be a bit of a clothesline that catches Secret out guard, off guard. S4, yep, that's the first one spotted. He's gonna pop the VKB and see side the TP on out. There's nothing that can interrupt him right now besides a black hole, which wasn't in a range. Very unfortunate for SFZ. I mean, sure, you get a BKB charge, but at the same time, you commit a smoke, you commit five heroes for this, and you don't really get a trade-off. Not a good one, anyway. And sure, they can push out the lane, but they can't really push the tower, so they effectively just wasted their time, whereas, you know, Secret, they're farming on all fronts. Kuroki just has his Blink Dagger flying in, and Tinker Winky, I believe, has a Manta style. No, he's going for a Sanjin Yasha, so, you know. This is rough for SFZ right now. This is, this is one of these like timing things where you kind of you need to get something done, and when you don't, you kind of give way too much. All right, secret still a little bit in the driver's seat, you know, in terms of the graph. Got a four thousand gold lead plus, and then XP is about three thousand plus as well. Uh, look at Zai. I mean, he was the punching back from Slark, like for the first five to ten minutes, and now he's seven k net worth. And starting on an Aghanim Scepter. Getting closer and closer to him. Juggling just a little bit. Sitting back, relaxing, enjoying. Some of that wonderful jungle action. While Arteezy's using a Sanjin Yasha, popping Battle Trance and taking up big stacks. Stacks on stacks on stacks for the ancient camps. And, uh, I mean, Seeker couldn't ask for more. They don't really care about the kill deficit, they're more so looking to win out these team fights still. And they still have to worry though, you know, Slark over here in Quista, he's got his BKB, so he's able to run through these fights, but still can't avoid being bashed up and such. Or the pure damage to come out from the uh, Quinta penalty. Oh, I like this one, Scary Faces. They're going for the backstab. They're baiting with the Slark and they're going to backstab him. Oh, they're going to find the Kriya even. They might find Kuroki. Oh, he blinks away after breaking the smoke. The mass pings come out and they're telling him to back the hell up, but the glimpse comes back in. Kuroki's kind of stuck up here. Pouncing forward. Quista trying to get Tinky Winky. The black hole committed onto S4. Seeing as to how Kuroki's already dead, why not go for this kill? He's gonna pop the Wrecking of Souls. It doesn't do too much damage. It just kind of scares him away, but BKB from Quista as he wants to chase even further. Zai, silence, bursted. Gonna go down. Can they get this kill? Yes, they can. They glimpse back S4, but nothing else to respond. So a quick two for nil and. On that bit of a flank, it works out phenomenally for SFZ. Yeah, I think I think they kind of wanted more out of this because I think they were in a position to get more out of this. But they'll be happy with this because they can also push the tier two. So it was a good, good backstab for sure. Even though again they didn't get as much as they probably wanted, but um, it's still a very good trade in secret. Yeah, it was bad, but I think they'll still take this. I mean, they didn't lose S4, which is really important. They did push out on, with Puppy, and Puppy actually has his axe almost, so... Dude's farmed. Dude is farmed. No, no denying that from anybody who plays SF. But, uh, some good side lane pressure was coming in from Puppy, who's getting closer. He's actually 150 gold away from having his axe. And he's been quiet the entire game. Just jungling and getting free lane when he can. And as soon as that one comes out, like some backstabbing attempt uh, from SFZ, like they did just now, it's going to be less likely, just because they're going to have much more vision on the map. All right, S4, looking for his next item here. He's got 2400 gold. Wouldn't be surprised if Scotty came out. Uh, same for RTZ. The SFZ side, though, we got a straight Ags build coming out from Shadowway. So, keep an eye out for when he gets that. Uh, and Cart looking for his BKB, and State 21 looking for his own eggs, or Bloodstone. Either can come out, and a little bit of a scouting Thunder God's Wrath coming in from him, too. Just making sure that Secret aren't trying anything sneaky. And also, severely damaging Puppy. <laughs> if, you, if you look at State 21's farm, and compared to, like, Fata, for example, who likes to play Zeus as well, obviously, um... It just goes to show like how well Fata plays on this hero and how State 21 I think is not utilizing him as well as he could. 
just because he hasn't he doesn't really have as much farm. Look, look at him. He has like link and arcane boots and a point booster. That's pretty much it. And yeah, it's it's nice still, but you know, at this point you kind of want to have more just to be able to do more in those team fights and I think he's just been playing very passively. I think overall scary faces they're playing very passively. They're not making the most out of the map. They're grouping up a lot like Enigma and Zeus and Disruptor have been sticking together for like the past eight minutes or something. They're not even farming independently, like they're farming together. Yeah, so now we got the leaves coming out. Looks like maple leaves from the dire side and uh, Puppy just gonna keep everybody safe with this. Now we can start overgrowth global farming with that too if he gets these uh, eyes of the forest up into the jungle. And a smoke in. Actually, not going for Roche, just kind of scouting out a little bit. The darkness is out. And we're going to blink forward. S4 might just be dead. He pops the BKB, turns around a little bit, does some damage, and heals up with the mech. But he scares them awake. Well, Quista, he's not scared. He's going in. He's going one versus one right now. But looking for an easier kill on Kuroki. They actually get a glimpse back in. They're going to get the black hole out too. And they find two with that one right now. As Shadow gets a double kill. Meanwhile, Quista kind of stuck in the trees, but he's got his team up back behind him. They glimpse back the SF. He's going to pounce back in onto that. And what a well executed fight from SFZ. That was, at first, I was doubting whether Quister was just, you know, playing overly aggressive, but he actually zoned out three heroes, basically, or, like, drew the attention of three heroes. Um, and yeah, it was a beautiful execution from, from SFZ. And with this, they're probably going to take a tier two again so two times in a row they take a team fight and take two towers after that this is so huge from them but actually Zai and Kuroki they're lining up they do have the Queen of Pain ultimate if he finds a spike on a three oh, oh Ramses, oh. Ramses. goodbye he gonna get spiked up hex no 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 okay I think they were a bit afraid of the backup because it didn't yeah. see where the other others were interesting I mean, I thought, you know, with Wave and Finger, they'd be able to get the kill easy, but don't want to commit too much, don't want to risk dying. And, and back we go, we reset a little bit. SFZ, really showing just how coordinated they can be. Like, it's, it's pretty insane how well they're playing this right now. They're definitely playing it well, but I th I'm, I'm doubting whether they can keep this up. Like, they're playing with a, uh, they're playing a bit with fire. I want to say, just because Secret is making much more use of the map, like they're farming effectively everywhere on, on every hero almost. Um, well, not right now, but they used to. Anyway, um, Zai building towards a BKB after all. Like he started with an Agonims, but he went back for a BKB. Makes sense. There's a lot of silences and disables that you kind of want to avoid. But at the same time, I believe, yeah, Disruptor's Agonims is now finished. So even if you got, even if they have that BKB, may not even be able to pop it no that's crazy both ags coming out too like with the disruptor we got the night stalkers so gonna be expecting a lot more vision from them puppy still trying to drop some leaves all over the place and do his job with that ags but how effective can you be if your team's just dying all around you pink's coming out as they actually saw puppy so hmm. do they do they risk going for this they know the jungle's gonna start being eyed up but yeah I don't think they really care honestly, that much. I honestly think they should pick up a gem with this as well. Like the gem and the gem on the Night Stalker who has an axe is just so beautiful. Ah, oh, secret. They have Bartizi sitting in the Roche pit, hitting on Roche. Does SFZ... Do they know this? They should know this, yeah. Oh yeah, they here it comes. This. Now Bartizi kind of stuck. Oh, Zai actually just stole the DD away from them. He's going to go into the pit. Overgrowth on a four. The Sonic Wave hit four too. We got ourselves a Disruptor Ultimate in this... Kinetic Field coming out, but Requiem of Souls. Quist is going to be able to at least get the kill onto Kuroki. No! The mechanism coming out, healing him up. He stays alive just a little bit longer, but Kuroki goes down. Zai did die, but look at this turnaround. Tinky Winky or RTZ picks himself up a double kill in that fight. It's a three for two, and they head back into the Roche pit now. As Puppy, he's dropping these eyes. He's going to try to guise himself up. No, he's silenced. He's going to get jumped, but he'll be able to TP back to base and make it out as... It seems that SFC actually did scare Secret away from doing Roche. A big mistake from Ramses. Like this is something that he can't afford as a as a Night Stalker, immediately voiding. I don't know. I guess it's just like some sort of reflex. You kind of want to nuke him immediately, but this is the only thing that prevents him from TPing. So um, 
very unfortunate that they don't get that kill, but at the same time, I think they're still very okay with how that fight panned out, just because it started out horrible, honestly. With that overgrowth and that Queen of Pain ult, could have gone a lot worse than that, but they only lost two heroes, actually traded two for two, so I think they're okay with this. And back they go into the pit. Ramses is like, I'm just gonna start hitting you guys while you're doing this, and does he get the steal? He does! Taking the Aegis underneath the secret hands. Quista now fighting, man-moding it up. Ramses gonna just slow him down, nuke him out. They're stuck in the field, but BKB comes in from Arteezy as he looks to just keep on fighting and wailing away. The black hole connects Kuroki, who blinks in, and they just blow them both up. Ekinar gets a double kill. Oh my. This is oh my not God. the game for Seeker right now. This is so not the game for them, and they didn't even use the Disrupt Ultimate, which they have now, so they can push into the to the base. At least force out one or two buybacks, if not all of them. Oh, oh they got the glimpse on a puppy! He's gonna pop the overgrowth, but for how long can he survive? Not long. Blinked and gl uh, glimpsed and just shot down, so... There you go. That is... I mean, I don't, the I, night vision, that's a set of racks? Yeah, with the night vision, they just know where everybody is. Oh my god, this is... Honestly, this is... A good drop from SFZ and very well executed, and they're gonna take at least one set of rocks, and if not two. Are the Starlight of Dreams over for Seeker right now? Geez, they're gonna swing for a second set. SFZ, surprising a lot of people here. Let's see, everybody's spawning right now. And maybe just get with the tower and just back out. I don't think they wanna to commit too hard just yet, but they still have the Disruptor Ultimate, so why not? Uh, going for the range racks first, and Two sets of racks down, secret. If any team could go back from that, they could, but this is still looking very good from SFZ. Like, this is a hell of a lead that they want. They forced the glyph too. Gonna back off for a little bit. Kuroki Blinky forward. We got a bit of a burst damage coming in on the shadow way. He cannot connect the static storm and just connect field, but that's it. They're blinking forward. They're still fighting. Quista going into the Zai, bl blocking him from getting into the fight and forcing him to blink out. But they get the range racks, they decide to back off. It's a little bit of zapping, but they're gonna actually reinitiate here. S4 is gonna get blown up. Quista going huge with State 21 on a double kill. Blinky forward, State 21 wants some more. He's bloodthirsty right now. There's still buybacks, but the two sets of racks are gone, and SFZ out of nowhere, just out of left field. Oh my god, so well played from them. Like, the way they, they move in these team fights is honestly really good. Um, they make sure to focus one target immediately. They don't really waste any spells. Um, really well played. And secret, I mean, I don't want to say that it's over, but it's an uphill battle. A very uphill battle. Hmm. Alright, so... <laughs> Jeez, Quista, what do you got next? He's gonna look for his Abyssal next. He's already got the Skull Basher. Or, yeah, he's just selling his items. He's ready to go. Uh... Jeez, even with Puppy, he, there's such limited vision right now. He's got one, two, three, four, five. He didn't really have up. time to. Yeah, he didn't really have time to plan one of these cool wards, right? Like, nope. after he picked it up, SFZ just turned up the, the aggression a lot. Like, they suddenly started grouping up, going for fights, and there were like this Roche engagement or both Roche, Roche engagements. So, yeah, SFZ putting a lot of pressure on a, in a very crucial timing and. Looks like they want to group up for another tier two push. They want to. They want to finish this. Yeah, they don't want to give them. Yeah. They pick up the armlet too for the night stalker, so his right clicks are going to get just a little bit better, and he just becomes that much more tanky. So uh, we got good warding coming out from the secret side, but what can you do? So tanky and so strong is this lineup from SFZ. Gonna look to just pressure the Blinky forward. They can find Puppy. They clear out the trees, but he still maintains that invisibility. Now, tier two gonna go down, they glimpse him back, they found him! But he gets the overgrowth off on a shadow wave. Meanwhile, Ramses is caught off in the back. He does still have the Aegis, they don't wanna kill him off just yet, but the black hole comes in, only connecting out of Kuroki. Nobody else walks into it, and that's just gonna be his life gone. But buyback coming in, Kuroki gonna TP back into this fight. Ramses is running away. They got the Sonic Wave on a state 21, the Slark is still running away. Ramses is gonna go down, even with the armlet toggle, while Zeus just suicides. And what a hold to come in from the secret side. Okay, that's that's what they need to get back into this, but still, two racks down. SFC still in the driver's seat, but that's a little bit of rubber band their way, even with the buyback from Kuroki. So, uh, we'll see. Yeah, that black hole is very optimistic. I think he expected somebody to still walk in afterwards, because he placed it very very much in the middle of things. Uh, I don't know, I think he should have held on to that one. Um, even... 
even maybe not even using it at all would have been good because now if he comes back up, he would have had it. But now, you know, he kind of wasted it. Uh, SFZ, pretty much everything I praised him for went wrong in this fight. Like, they didn't really coordinate too well. Ramses was caught off guard, completely out of position. Um, and yeah, SFZ, I think they're not going to take their time until they re-engage again. I think they're going to wait until they have Black Hole up. Maybe wait for another item, maybe like the Abyssal Blade on the Slark, mm -hmm. which would be very, very good against the troll. He has it now, so. if he wants to get it, but maybe save for some buyback. <laughs> yeah. So we got Arteezy looking for Ooh, nice old Scotty. The ultimate scouts him out with the smoke, and uh, now Secret still looking to defend, still trying to do what they can to stay alive in this best of three, or well, in this first game. All right, net worth, boom, boom. Slark is at 20k right now, and the S4's SF is having a tough time catching back up. Yeah, I mean, he died a lot in these last engagements, and I think, I mean, he had a really good early and mid-game, obviously, but in these last engagements, he's died quite some time, didn't even get a kill out of it, I think, so it hurts him a lot, these fights, and yeah. I mean, Troll is still doing well, though, so that they got that for going for them. He's very close to Scott, and as soon as he has that, it makes him much more tankier, and makes it easier for him to take down all of these, the other heroes outside of the Slark, so to God, he's pretty much going to be up for secret. It's going to be really nice for them. I mean, they're down two wrecks for sure, but they still have a pretty scary lineup to fight against. Abyssal out for the Slark, and I mean, with that, maybe you just look to push. Because now you can stun them to the BKB, hope for more Bass Chance, and where do we go from here? Just pop in the yeah, nighttime. I mean, their, um, their black hole is going to be up soon, so I think this should be a timing where they want to go. I don't really think they should give Secret any any more space and time to farm up. And yeah, looks like they're going to push the tier 2 top. Secret are going to group up to defend that one. I don't think they should let it fall. And they pushed out their lanes sufficiently enough, so mm -hmm. they, they're not really scared of getting pushed out. Are they going to smoke? Does Kuroki have a smoke here? He does. No, not gonna use it, okay. Gonna, oh, there it is, okay. So now they're gonna run into them, but using that Thunder God's Wrath again, just scouting it out perfectly. Quist is gonna be the first one caught out here. Is he dead? Yes, he is! The overgrowth of the Black Hole gonna be going on to three right now, but nobody to follow up! The Static Storm wasn't there. Tiki Wiki on a killing spree. Arteezy just going ham. Finding himself another kill, possibly. Zai gets that one. Blinking forward state, though, picks off S4. It's going to be a two on three, trying. SFZ doing their best to get the rest of these kills. Ramsey's going ham. He's got himself that armlet, toggling it off and on. And being able to chase on a Kuroki, they zap him down. That creep, that creep blocked him in the tree line and picked up the kill. What a hero. Oh, man, he will not be forgotten as he fades into the soil. And that's a four for three in the SFZ favor. I think if you're Slark, if you're kind of betrayed from your team, like he was, he was the quote-unquote bait, I guess, and they didn't really follow it up at all. Or if even if you're in the Enigma, you kind of feel betrayed. He got the perfect black hole almost, and you know everybody was like, "Yeah, do we go? Do we not go?" But in the end, that static storm from the disruptor saved that fight. Like it was so huge. Caught out the SF and the troll, making sure they didn't get any spells off. Couldn't use their BKB, I believe, and you know just a lot of damage as well. So yeah. Sort of weird fight, but still good enough for SFZ. I gotta say props to the hero creep. Doing his thing. Being a, a Radiant fan to the end. SFZ, 8,000 gold lead now. 5,000 plus in terms of uh, XP, and they're ready to go. And it's Scythe of Vice picked up for State 21. So this is this is a hell of a good item. And now 13 charges on that Bloodstone. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and a Blink I, for Disruptor. Oh, God. I did, I did talk about how... I think that he's not playing the hero to the fullest potential, like Fada does, for example. But I think he recovered pretty nicely. Um, he did a really good job just farming up for himself and not just with every, anybody else, and also just getting a few crucial kills in the team fight. So, in terms of net worth, he's actually fourth highest, so doing a pretty good job there, keeping up. And as of the they find Roche. Hmm. Can Secret contest this? I don't think so, because the lanes are getting pushed in. Yeah, the lane's being way too troublesome right now for them, but they could try, but it doesn't seem like it, so. Alright, Aegis and Cheese over to the SFZ side. 
And this game can like, only get better. The issue is also, just because they have a Night Stalker, um, SSD can't really get surprised in the Rush Pit. Usually when you contest the Rush Pit, what you can't... Wait, cheese, guys? Just cheese? Cheese, hello? Eklar, should get it? Drop his TP? No? Give it to State 21? Yeah, he's got room. Yeah. Look at this Rush Pit, though. It's so littered with items. Pick yeah. up your trash, guys. What are you doing? Oh boy, it's gonna be huge. They're not gonna fight with the Aegis and the Cheese. Uh, and honestly, I mean, killing Quista didn't prove to be too difficult in that last fight, but that's just because his team wasn't in position to defend him. If they're in a better position, killing him twice is gonna be almost impossible, honestly. Alright, now looking to pressure up towards this tier 2. Again, let these supers do their thing on the sides, which they are. And they're pushing out mid and side lane very strongly. Gonna force someone to go back, and that's gonna be Zai, who has his TP ready, just in case the team needs him. And they're all going full guys mode right now. This is a uh, secret agent secret, trying to. Hmm. But I mean, at the same sneaky, time, how? Yeah. yeah, but at the same time, how useful is that when you're playing up against the Night Stalk, yeah. progressive gem and Aghanims? Like, he's just gonna see you being guy stuff. It's, it, it looks funny though. I don't know. It could, work if, if the, it could work if the Night Stalker is not in position, which he isn't, by the way. He's not in a good position for this. Okay. Secret. S4 is going to find one. We had a pounce and attempt from Twista. They're going to go to the Echnarf. They're going to be able to get this kill. That's an absolutely huge kill, but Shadowway coming through does drop the Static Storm and puts S4 back in it with the glimpse. Although Arteezy did get off his BKB, they turn around. The finger damage, the Sonic Wave damage on top of that. Ramses is down. Tiki Winky getting a double kill, but he gets pounced on by Quista. Gem on the deck while Zai is beating into State 21. It's a four on three currently. They get the spikes out. They do force out the Aegis from the Slark, though. State 21 still zapping, trying to do what he can. A full on Requiem on top of Quista, but it's not enough. And State 21, he gets the Yules defensively coming in. Eknar bought back, goes into the fight. State 21 still alive for a bit. They solo Black Hole, S4 again, and then State 21 denies himself? All right, doesn't want to be handed over by Zai blinking in randomly. And we find ourselves in a three-on-three -three trade with a buyback from Eknar, so a four-on-three technically. And uh, now the tier two should be able to fall here, but the Sonic Wave clears out the wave for a little bit. But either way, that, that should be a tower going down. And in the meantime, the creeps take one tier four and almost the second one. They will get the second one. No, no, wait, no. So close. Uh oh. No, Zai, oh. Zai's gonna pull it off, okay. 38 HP. But yeah, this Night Stalker, he was not in position, and after all this, you know, guising up worked out quite well, I guess. But SFD, they have such a commanding lead that it's very difficult. Again, like, they were able to kill Quista once, but the second time just proved to be impossible. Did they recover the gem? I believe they... I believe they did. Yeah, mm. it's on Ramses again. No, he just bought that. That's a fresh oh, really? one. I believe that there was another one on the deck. Did... Yeah, puppy has one. Oh, puppy got it. Okay. Oh yeah, that's that's Rems's one. But no, I think I don't know. But yeah, there's two there's two gems in play now. And oh, I like this from SFZ. They smoke into the enemy. No, oh, they want to just end it here. Base. Blinking forward, they get the hex. They get the static storm too. Arteezy can't go anywhere. Can't even use his BKB. He's bashed down. Sonic wave comes in, but. And that's not going to be enough damage to pick up a kill here. They even finger Eknar, but he just lives through and he pops the BKB. He's still alive. While Arteezy using his BKB to stop the glimpse, they finally kill off the pesky disruptor and then Quista. Oh, that's not Quista. That's State 21. He's tanky as all hell. He's going to TP right in front of them and they can't go into the tree line. Oh, the Yules! The Yules to come in stops it. State 21, he's gone. But this tier 4 tower, it's still alive. Just barely the tree armor keeping it in play. And, uh, oh my. They force a buyback out of Arteezy, so next time they kill him, that might be it. That might just be game. Oh my god, I think SFZ is just like, every time they get a huge team fight for them, uh, every time after that they're like, oh, come on guys, let's just finish, let's just finish. They just run at them and give away a few kills, so they're making it really difficult for themselves. And Secret, they just don't want to give up. I mean, they shouldn't be looking to give up here. This would be a major upset if this happens. But, all right, still holding on to this base, still have this tier four that they're healing up. And, I mean, they still have some good defensive vision from the triad. But at the same time, how long can Secret fight from inside their base? Yeah, like, it's, they, they really can't afford, to, for example, to get mega creeps. Like, um, they have to defend the top racks no matter what. I think as soon as they have mega creeps, I'm not going to say impossible, but it's going to be much more difficult after that one.
and scary faces. I mean, I guess scary faces doesn't really have the best late game lineup, but just because how they're leading, I think yeah, they're just gonna make the best out of it. Go for smoke. They have kind of have to finish it almost. Like again, I think secret has has a better late game lineup and oh, Korea. Oh, if they could kill that one, would be huge. Is there anything in it? There is a Perseverance. They'll see it on top of them. They're going forward. They just want the kills, though. Static Torch connects onto Kuroki. He's just going to go down, but the Black Hole in on the, the two cores. Look at the damage. Going to be coming up to follow suit, but Zai's right-click damage with the Maelstrom helping out a ton. Double Requiem coming in, but it's not going to be enough to pick up any kills just yet. They end up getting the Yules defensively, or defensively on Aquista, but it doesn't matter. He's going to pop that Shadow Dance. Go in for something but his team is dead that's all four gone quista turning around gonna be able to pick up the kill on his eye gets a bash kuroki's looking to be next he gets the hex off has the blink in five quista should be able to get him can he pounce he's looking for it pounces dark pack doesn't connect kuroki has blink and he's gonna go forward connects the spikes but dark pack comes in and He's gonna get slowed. Oh god, he's gonna get chased down. Scottied up, looking for the bash to get one, but the pact is out. He's still looking to run away for his life. He gets over the ledge just barely with that pounce. And look at this chase coming out. He's got the dark pack going. He turns aside to go on to Kuroki, but now he's bash lock. He's dead. That's all five from SFZ dying in a base dive on the secret. And I don't want to even see this rubber man. I can't even see it because the fight lasted too damn long. So I'm gonna look at the graph and survey says it's about Maybe three thousand. <laughs> and look less. at look at the tier four tower. Uh, it survived with thirty eight HP, and now just because of living armor, it's almost you know full HP. So yeah, secret. I did say that secret have the better late game lineup, and if they can just keep holding on like this, if they can repel SOC for you know a few more minutes, I believe they're gonna be able to come back from this. I mean, effectively, just they just need to pull, push in one lane, right? And they have to troll. So if they do win a big team fight, and if they win it a bit more convincingly, I think they can just transition it into an easy push. So SFD, they have to be careful to not, you know, just throwing their lives at secret because they can't really afford that. Not now. Not now. Look at the graphs, dude. The big speed graph. Oh yeah, there we falling go. Falling and falling and 4, falling. Four thousand gold dip, XP graph dipping down too, and they're starting to even it up, like you said. What a game. What a game. SFZ really don't want to throw this lead away. If they could get Megas, that'd be insane, but either way, it's still impossible. They, they at least have control over the Roche pit, and uh, it's going to be a relatively long rush on too, in terms of the respawn timer. I believe it's like five minutes. So, uh, let's see. Butterfly completed four. Uh, quick sift. So. He could be coming out from Rams as soon as well. I mean, that BKB is going to be really nice for him. Um, but yeah, it's, it's going to be tough, honestly. They need a good black hole. They need a good static storm to control the troll and the and the and the um, SF. All right, blanket forward, BKB done for the Night Stalker, and now we just wait. Next Aegis is going to be very important. Got that last two minutes or two and a half minutes remaining for Roche to be back on up. Quista. One more item till he's six line, so it might be more comfortable once he finishes that one up. And his last item, what would it be? MKB? Mm. He already yeah, has MKB would be good. Yeah, MKB would be good. Yeah, MKB. I think MKB would be good. Just to kind of stop the whirling axis from the troll too. Yeah. But troll has his own MKB now too, so he's full six slot. He is gonna run people down very crazy. He's he's just needs a satanic and he's done, but. Technically, he's kind of slick slotted. Ooh, they spot Quista. At the same time, he knows that there's war there. He says it up too. <sighs> this is this is going to be so tense. Like SFZ, they can't really lose a fight. Secret, they don't really want to lose a fight either. They can't really, especially since RTZ just bought out. He doesn't have buyback. So, um, if SFZ is aware of that, they may go for a very aggressive gank on uh, on on RTZ, but. They don't really have... No, well, now they have vision on him. Do they have a smoke? Yes, they oh, do. Oh, they don't have a smoke. Oh, oh well, the Team Secret side has a smoke. Oh, yeah. Oh, and they are smoked. 
Oh, oh, blinking forward, finding a spike under Ramses. They get the Sonic Wave out too, looking for a black hole. Eknar gonna go forward, finds a two man. Meanwhile, SF just going insane. They even stop the black hole with the overgrowth. Puppy's ready for the refresh. He gets silenced though, and then S4 gets bashed. Double kill coming in. That's Arteezy down with no buyback. S4 down as well. And then Kuroki, he's gonna get his B TP stopped. He's down to triple kill for Quista. Can he get the ultra? Zai blinking away. Roche is going to be up in a couple seconds, but I think they're just calling to rush the base down, seeing as how the buyback isn't up for another 10 seconds for I the mean, secret side. He doesn't even have enough gold, but... Uh, yeah. Jeez. I mean, worst case scenario, they just force out a few buybacks, right? Best case scenario, they one get... one buyback? <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, one buyback. And there it is. The one buyback on SF, so... I'm not sure, yeah, but this one buyback is not going to scare them. SF, he doesn't have all his souls even, and, you know... Can't stop him from. Oh, oh, Blink Hex. They're not gonna pounce in. They know what the state of the game is right now. They know that our tour can't fly back. Gonna slow him down a little bit. They're using the Scotty. He misses the pounce, but gets the Abyssal onto Zai, and that's gonna be enough damage to bring him down. No, the Yules is there. Dark Pack's gonna pop, and he's dead. He can't blink away, and that's game. That should be game. S4 can't do much to defend this, and that's game one. Going over to SFZ over Secret as GG gets called, and you didn't expect that. I didn't expect that. Wow, honestly just wow. They played this really well. I mean, in the end you could sort of see that they were a bit overly aggressive. They lacked the experience of how to, you know, how to finish the game, I guess. Um, but their mid game was, in their early game as well, was really strong. They played this really nice. So we're going to hit a quick break, guys, and then when we come back we'll have game two to see if Scary Faces can close this one out.